Hi, I'm George, and if you've been with my channel for a while, you'll know that I usually work here in Photoshop Elements Expert Mode right up there. If you're new to the channel though, I'm going to take this video to show you some of the differences between the Expert Mode and the Guided Mode and the Quick Mode, and why I like working in Expert Mode. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, we're here inside of Photoshop Elements Expert Mode in the editor. You can see that right up there where it says Expert. And this is the normal way I work with Photoshop Elements. Now the reason for this is that this gives me access to all of the different tools that are available to Photoshop Elements. So you have your most ability in here, your, your greatest number of tools, your largest number of options, all of that is available here inside of Expert Mode. The Guided and the Quick Modes are kind of subsets of the expert mode. Let's take a quick look around here at expert mode and I'll show you some of the things that I tend to use all the time. First off and most important really on the right hand side is your layers panel over here and these are critical if you want to really use the full power of Photoshop Elements. You want to have your layers panel available. You'll find a button for that right down at the bottom down here. You'll also find it as with everything else over in the Windows menu. There's the layers panel right there and the F11 keyboard shortcut. Now across the top here we have all of our standard controls here for the layers panel. The two most important most of the time are the first button. This is your new layer but I also will tend to right click on the name and then duplicate layer right here as we have just copying layers. And over here you have the layer mask button. Those two I use all the time. There's an example of a layer mask right here that it allows you to show part of a layer and hide the other part of the layer. Now across the bottom we have other panel sets. Here's the effects panels. Sometimes I'll go into and use these effects but not that frequently to be honest. Filters. This is a different way of working with your filters. And you have most of your filters available in here and just little quick buttons. Now you can actually have a few more options with your filters if you go to the filter menu or use the filter gallery. So I normally go over here instead of using the filter panel on the right hand side. Styles are presets for your layer styles and there's a lot of stuff you can do in here that you can't do from the regular styles, regular layer styles. Now you find that, if I go back here to layers, we're on a layer right here, if I go up here to layer and the layer style, you'll find your style settings. There's the style settings dialog box and it's fairly limited on what you can do in here and that's where the styles over here comes in handy. A lot of other stuff can be done from this styles, including bevels, complex, drop shadows, glass buttons, a lot of stuff in here. Now to the right of that are the graphics. These are included clip art. You have backgrounds, frames, graphics, shapes, and text as well. And there are a few more things you can access over here on the right hand side. These are just things you can also access right from the window menu as well. So there's a lot over here that can be done right inside of the expert mode. On the left hand side you have your full complement of tools and then you have access to all of your menus up here including all of your filters right there, all of your layer tools, all of your enhanced options in here including your adjust lighting and adjust color section. So you have access again to everything from the expert tab right there. Now the guided tab works you through some standard effects and they're kind of helping options and then all of these you can take from here and take it into expert mode for additional work if you want to. Let's just take one of these. You can see there are several sections up here. The basics, color, black and white, fun edits, special effects, and photo merge. We'll start off with just the basics. We'll do a first one here, the brightness and contrast. Now for this you need to select an image. I have one selected right down here. If you look at your images you'll see that there's this light white outline around that. That one is selected. That one's not selected. So we're working on this image here. Click on one of these guided edits. It brings this up. And then on the right hand side, it'll walk you through some different effects. This just allows you to adjust brightness and contrast. Something which you can do very easily over there in the expert mode as well. When you're happy with your adjustments, just click on next. And from here, you can go over into expert mode if you want to, or take it in the opposite direction over into the quick edit, which is our third button right there. I'm just going to click on done and call that finished. Okay, so these are kind of just work along. Now some of these are a bit more complex. If I go over here to the special edits, 
Let's just take a look at this one right down here. And you see we have more options and again you just work through the series of steps and use the choices that they give you. So it saves you a lot of figuring out. You don't have to know which steps you need to do next. It's kind of set up here for you. You just work down the list. You can then go to the next button and again take it back over into expert mode if you want to. So the guided edits are very, very useful because they do line things up for you, making it easy to follow step by step. Very good if you are fairly new to Photoshop Elements. There are also some things in here that you can't do over in expert mode, just a couple of them. One of them is making a frame in here, which will then be able to be used over in expert mode. And over in photo merge, all these photo merges you can only do here. You can't do this stuff in expert mode. So this one section right there, the photo merge section, is kind of a specialty section that, again, you can't do this stuff over inside of the expert mode. Now the quick options over here, these are just real fast adjustments. Smart fix adjustments, just choose the one you like. I kind of like this one. You roll over this and you can see how it looks and then choose the one you want to use. The exposure settings, same thing. Just roll over these little thumbnails. Find the one that you like. Click on that and it then sets that one in. Same thing for lighting and working on down color and so forth. So they're real fast, real easy to use. Quick adjustments, and that's exactly what that says. But notice here on the quick adjustments, very limited tools palette on the left-hand side. No real options over here on the right hand side. We do have some effects, textures, and frames, but it's fairly low on the options. And that's why I normally work in expert mode where I have access to everything. Sometimes I'll pop back into guided or maybe even into quick, depending upon what I'm doing, but I'll always end up back over here in expert mode, again, where I have all of my controls, all of my tools, all of the different panel options down below here. In other words, everything is available to me here inside of the expert mode. Now again, this does take more knowledge to use this mode. There's a bit of a learning curve, and that's what my YouTube channel is all about, is showing you how to use all of these different tools, how to do all this different fun stuff with fun projects, so you can learn how to actually use expert mode and then get the most out of Photoshop Elements. So there you go. That's what the Photoshop Elements expert mode is all about and why I happen to like using it better than the other two modes available here inside of Photoshop Elements. Okay, if you had fun with this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit that share button. The more shares I get, the more videos I can produce here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, so you won't miss out on any videos in the future. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.